Let's make a white, fluffy, gluten-free sandwich bread today. We'll start with potato starch, coconut flour, xanthan gum, gluten-free baking often needs xanthan gum to help hold it all together. That's what the gluten does in wheat baking. Here's some sea salt, some baking powder, and baking soda. We'll whisk that all together and we'll set it aside for a moment. I have some egg whites here. They've been sitting while I measured out my other ingredients to come to room temperature. We're going to beat the egg whites till they're stiff. That looks about right. Now, I need to use this bowl again, so I'm going to move my egg whites into another bowl. If you have a second bowl for your stand mixer, you won't have to do this. There, I don't need to have it perfectly cleaned out. It's all going to the same place in the end. I will change the whisk attachment. Let's cream some lard. And then we'll be mixing in some raw sugar and egg yolks as we go. Now we'll add in those dry ingredients that we mixed at the beginning. Let's give that a little stir. While that's mixing, I'll stir in some water and some apple cider vinegar. Then I'm going to put in about a third of our egg whites. Looking good. I think it's fluffy enough now to fold the rest of our egg whites in. The beaten egg whites give our bread some volume because they trap air. So we want to fold them in gently so we don't beat all the air bubbles out. But we had to mix some in first so that this batter is light enough to fold our egg whites in. So here are the egg whites that we beat earlier. Now, folding is very gentle. You just stir across from one side to the other through the middle. Just turn your bowl around and do that very gently. You want to incorporate it as well as you can without smashing them all down. You want them to give your bread a cloud-like texture.
think we're almost there. You just want to find happy medium between still having some fluff but having it mixed through as evenly as possible. Okay. I have a pan ready. So we'll pour this into a pan. And then we're going to bake it in the oven at 400 for a while. Then we'll turn it down. Get the full recipe with all the ingredient details at kathysglutenfree.com Here's our bread. It's done. Now we need to let it cool about 10 minutes before we take it out of the pan. And then the bread needs to sit on the rack until it's completely cool before we slice it. I think our loaf is cool enough to handle. Let's pop it out of the pan. Now remember to let your loaf cool completely before you slice it. I know it's going to be hard to wait.